People say that in medieval sieges, attackers would tie plague-ridden corpses to the tops of trees and launch them into enemy castles to spread disease. To see if that could really work, the team first needed to figure out the elastic limit of a tree. They headed into a privately owned forest and picked out a tall, straight pine. Tori tied a rope to the top, ran it down to a hand winch, and hooked it up to a force gauge. The idea was to measure just how much force it would take to bend the tree. After several tests, they found a 60-foot pine could bend about 45 degrees before maxing out at roughly 2,000 pounds of force. But when it came to actually flinging something the size of a person, the problem stacked up fast. The branches got in the way and the pine just wasn't springy enough, so they tried out different trees, looking for the one with the best elasticity. Turns out Douglas fir was the clear winner. Back in the forest, they found a good-sized fir, trimmed off the extra branches, and strapped a crash test dummy 70 feet up the trunk. The target? An inflatable castle set 100 feet away. Slowly, they cranked the tree back. At 2,500 pounds of tension, Tori cut the rope, and the dummy went flying. It launched cleanly, but fell just short of the castle, landing right in front of the gate. In the end, using trees as catapults just wasn't realistic. The accuracy was terrible, and without modern machinery, bending a tree with enough force was nearly impossible. Myth busted.